I'm gonna let my friends choose my new golf clubs. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Again, with a love heart face. People are really enjoying the love heart faces. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I hope you are all safe, I hope you are all sane, and I hope you're getting a little bit of golf in some way or another. At the moment in the UK West, in lockdown, so I'm doing videos from home, and to be honest, I've become a little bit of an eBay addict, and that's the reason for this video. Just before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. We are just past 100,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if you join the community and if you want to be a part of it. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video, um, and let's just, um, let's crack on, shall we? So as you all know, guys, I currently use Mizuno blade irons. I use the MP20 MBs up to six iron, and four and five iron, I use the HMB. And I like them, I got fitted for them. I've got AMT X100 shafts in there. I've got Golf Pride multi-compound aligned grips on there. Um, put them back. And they are very, very good. But as I said, I've become a little bit of an eBay addict these last few weeks, being stuck at home. And I wanted a bargain. I wanted something that's gonna be classical, something that I can kind of take out there, I can play and enjoy. And I thought, it's got to be a Mizuno blade still, hasn't it? For me, mind the pun, nothing feels like a Mizuno. I can't see myself ordering a set of blades, maybe the Titleist MBs. But generally, Mizuno blades do feel and look and not necessarily perform, but I'm looking at them down there now. I always look off camera and I have to look at the subject that I'm talking about. But I'm digressing because the point of this video is I asked my friends which irons I should buy. So I'm gonna go through who I asked, why I asked them and what irons they came with. So first person I text was my brother. So Adam's a scratch handicap, he's a good player. We've both had Mizuno irons in the past and he came up with this, MP32. Now that's a fantastic answer. We've both had MP32s, even my dad had MP32s and absolutely loved them. So that's a good start, that's a strong start. I wouldn't mind splashing out a couple of hundred quid on some MP32s, no problem whatsoever. But who did we ask next? So after that, we asked my friend Dalton, he's got down to scratch before, I've got no idea what he is now. Dalton, if you're watching this, sorry mate, just, yeah, we'll, we'll go have a pint when this is all over. He came up with MP33s. Now this is an interesting one because MP32s and MP33s are out at a similar time, and the MP33s are just a solid blade. They look absolutely gorgeous, they look stunning, and I think they're gonna be quite popular in this test. Next up, we asked YouTuber Alex Elliott, and he came with MP68 and a love heart face there. So he must really dig the MP68. So Alex, thank you so much for replying to that, mate. As you'll see, I didn't prompt people, I just kind of said in the message, best blade in Mizuno iron, go. And people generally replied like that. I also asked Andy Sullivan. So Andy, the average golfer, you've probably seen his channel as well. And Andy replied MP5. Now that's an interesting one because MP5s are quite, quite, recent, quite newer than what a lot of people are coming back with. Um, so MP5, there's a vote for that. And then I asked Gaz, so Gary Martin, who's been like, you know, the one with the shocking haircut, that's probably even worse now to be fair. Gaz replied with MP33 again. So that's a few votes in already for the MP33s. And I've got a feeling what I might well be searching for in this video. I'm gonna buy some guys um, and hopefully they'll come before lockdown's over. I can do an unboxing video for you, show you what kind of condition you can buy on eBay. Hopefully they will be real as well. And then when lockdown is over, go out and play some golf with them. After Gaz, I asked John Rowbottom. So John is the superintendent at Woolly Park Golf Club. Can't say that without laughing. He's in his hat. He's got a really cool hat as well. John came back with MP68, so exactly the same as Alex Elliott, so that's two votes for the MP68s. And then we asked Jordan Smith, Jordan caddied for me on the YouTube Golf Day, he now works for Worldwide Golf out in Dubai, and he said MP33, again, with a love heart face. People are really enjoying the love heart faces when talking Mizuno irons. MP33 is starting to kind of get up there, isn't it? They could be the irons that we end up searching for on eBay. And after John, I asked someone who I grew up playing a lot of golf with, Dan. So Dan was Dan was a very, very good golfer. Dan grew up with the likes of Lee Westwood and other people, and he came back with a solitary answer, mine, and then sent a picture of them as well. So they're the MP4s, they look absolutely gorgeous, and again, quite a current one. After Dan, we spoke to a guy who coached me as a kid, uh, PJ Pro at Wortley Golf Club, fantastic guy, MP33, and 
this could well be the casting vote because I always picture Rich, so Richard Croshaw, as a Mizuno Blade player. I think he might play Wilson at the moment, actually. But whenever I was growing up, I think he even had MP33s, and that's maybe where my kind of love for Mizuno Blades comes from. After Rich, I asked a guy who coaches under the legendary Pete Cowan, so I asked Nick, who runs the Pete Cowan Junior Tour, and his answer was MP33, final answer, without a doubt. So guys, that's without a shadow of a doubt now, we are searching for a set of Mizuno MP33 irons. Obviously now, we're gonna have to get on eBay, aren't we? So let's have a look. And we're gonna go on ebay.co.uk because what we don't want to do, it's St. George's Day tomorrow, because what we don't want to do, so far I can't find server, excellent. Help if you put three W's in that. Because what we don't want to do is A, pay over the odds from America and B, have to pay loads of postage and import tax from America. And also, obviously with what's going on at the moment, I don't know how things are readily coming over from America or not. So eBay, first of all, I want to see what I could have got MP32 wise, because they do hold a bit of a place in my heart. 70 quid. Oh, it's a bid though. See, when I did a video on eBay last week, I got worked up in the whole bidding thing. I thought I thought the price was the price when really it's the start price. And also people outbid me. People watch my video on eBay, then outbid me for them. Ah, right. Um, although there's only a day left on those, I might well have those as well. There might be another video coming where I buy those as well, potentially. Um, you can buy two iron for 25 quid, that's good. Three iron, 15 quid, buy it now. Lots of single irons on their own, that's quite annoying. I mean, if you wanted to like build a set, then you've got to get the shafts and things ready as well, haven't you? That says MP32, but it's not, it's a 33, this one here, very, very odd. Um, let's accept cookies because that big blue banner is really annoying me. Oh, maybe I can't. No, we can't. It's not even letting me accept the cookies, okay. MP33. I've spelled Mizuno wrong there as well, that's not gonna help, is it? It's not got that many eyes in it. Let's see if we spell it correctly. MP33, five iron pitching wedge, heads only. This could be a bit of an interesting one, couldn't it? If you look at those though, they look absolutely battered. Um, actually, what have they done to... Oh, wow. I mean, apart from putting diamante ferrules on there, I don't know what on earth they're thinking with that. Um, they actually look quite cool, don't they? So what they've done there is they've taken the finish off them and they'd probably rust quite nicely, actually. The... <sighs> see, one thing that you've got to look out for on eBay as well, check this out here. So you see the, um, the neck there of the club, that tells me that the line angle's been changed and quite aggressively as well, because it's a forged day, and if you were gonna change the line angle of those, you wouldn't have to be that aggressive with it. So I don't know how much they've been looked after. And they've got di diamond ferrules on them. I mean, they probably don't come with ferrules if it's heads only, but for 80 pounds buy it now, They've got potential because I could get some shafts. I could get the same shafts that I use, the AMT X100, pop them in there, and that would be an absolute dream, wouldn't it? So I've got to weigh up how much shafts would cost. MP33, two iron to pitching wedge, stiff. Ooh, mm, that's a bid though. What I don't, I'm not getting into a bidding war on this video because you guys will outbid me. I'm going buy it now for a decent price. Although they are fantastic. They absolutely incredible shape by the look of those. In fact, I might even send those rich. I'm gonna send these to you before I put this video out because I think you'll probably have them at that price, mate, to be fair. You've always said you want a set of these again. Um, MP33, 300 pitching weight, S300, 125 pounds. These could be, uh, see, and this is interesting because with these clubs, they always have worn sweet spots because guys have practiced really, 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 really hard. I know Richard, if Richard has got a picture of it, I'll pop it up there now. If he hasn't sent me a picture of it, it's just my finger pointing at my kind of PGA graduation plaque. But, um, always have worn faces. So one, I don't really want like really worn grooves on them. Um, bids, bids, 285 pound by them now. They're, they're the same ones as well, aren't they? It worries me that, I don't really want to spend £300 on a set of irons for fun. 200 now, we're taught five to pitching wedge though. Not really. Not really. How far can we go? See here, a set of three to pitching wedge with rifle shafts in 6.5. These would be perfect. £450. It is absolutely amazing 
how these things can kind of hold the value. They're almost like a classic club now. I'm not spending that. I'm not spending £500 on a set of fun irons. Um, you can buy three iron on its own for £45. Six iron, a battered six iron for £27.99. What planet are these people on? We are kind of delving into now just the, the kind of stay alone single irons and that annoys me so I'm going to go back up. Um, you know what guys, for 80 quid I can buy a four iron, it's not going to be the same, it's not going to be the same is it, but for 80 quid Or do I just go with these for 125 quid? I mean, they do look battered then, don't they? Guys, hit those comments below. I'm going to make a decision in this video, but what would you do? Would you go 125 quid with shafts, a little bit battered S300 shafts, or would you go kind of refinished head? That's the thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I, I might never see something like this again. And they do look really cool. Guys, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, I'm going to buy these heads at £80. Hopefully they don't come with the diamante ferrules. Um, I'm going to sign in for checkout. Hopefully they don't come with diamante ferrules because that would just be a little bit um, weird. Um, so I'm going to find some ferrules. I'm going to get in touch with some shaft manufacturers, get some shafts. I'm going to put, piece them all together, then go and play golf with them. So that's going to be really, really fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As soon as those come, I will... Um, do a video on them and show you them. Um, what else would you like to know about them? I'll try and check the lie angle and lofts as well because a little bit worried on how it looks like they've been moved. A little thing to check out for on eBay. Huge thank you to all the lads that replied really, really quickly. Um, I, it helps me because uh, the idea was that you guys choose my new irons. So MP33's raw finish could potentially go rusty, but I need some shafts for them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've massively enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Do not be afraid to subscribe. Ring the notification bell if you haven't already. That way you won't miss my content whilst we're in lockdown and beyond. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that. And as always, I'm going to pay for these, but I will see you all tomorrow. And so guys, there you have it. Order was placed. Estimated delivery 27th to the 30th. View order details, just so you know that I have got them. And hopefully, there they are. Hopefully, guys, we can find some shafts for those and they should be pretty cool.